The Supreme Court has issued two decisions related to the Biden administration's vaccine mandates. Remember, there were challenges that were heard just about a week ago in the Supreme Court, and this is what the Supreme Court has just come down with. They have blocked that vaccine mandate that applied to large employers, employers with 100 people or more. This was a vaccine mandate that effectively went into effect on Monday, just the masking portion of it and the vaccine portion of that mandate was supposed to go into effect February 9th. Now that mandate is completely blocked. This is a mandate that would have affected about 80 million workers. Praise the Lord that the Supreme Court has blocked the mandate. This video is simply discussing the news. We're not speaking about the jab at all in terms of the scientific facts about it so as to not violate any terms. This is merely speaking on the mandate and the huge victory that we had in America today. I am just grateful to Jesus Christ for the fact that many of us who um, have undergone so many pressures uh, this year um, and if you're a person who's a sole provider or you know you both work in the home and you were trying to find ways to be able to think of how you would be able to provide for your family, right? You know the pressures that you went through this year. And um, the fact that we have an opportunity now to continue to earn a living, um, which is something that you came to this country to do. I came here from Puerto Rico to earn a living. God is um, truly merciful. God is truly good. And God is awesome. Yet as I say that, um, we cannot be selfish and not think of the many brethren that are still under dystopian principles around the world. Um, we must continue to pray and we must continue to help. If you have a, a brother or sister in the Lord in another country that is in a position that they're affected, yet you can help from here, pray about it. Pray about it. Um, time is running out. Jesus Christ is at the door. When is he coming? We don't know. The one thing that I do know is, is that he, at the very least right now, we have to celebrate this victory and, and, and be thankful, right? But while we're being thankful, don't forget that there are many others going through it. Uh, there are healthcare workers that are still going to go through it. There are people in other countries that are still going to go through it. But... Hopefully this sends a message to other nations, temporarily. And as it does, church, I, I just want to, you know, remind you all, and this is something that I remind myself, and I had this conversation in my house today, and I've had it with uh, the brothers and sisters that um, are part of the ministry as well, is that, that we need to remember who God is, we need to remember who our provider is, and we need to be grateful in all things. Quite often, people are very quick to forget the blesser, right? Forget the one that gives the blessing once the blessing comes. And if you are in a position that because of this awesome news that happened today that you now are at ease because you can now find a way to provide for your family, never forget that it wasn't you who provided for them at all, that it was God the entire time and that it is God who is giving you the chance right now to continue to provide for them. You know, in Deuteronomy 6, verses 9 through 13, we see God reminding them, you know. And, and quite often, when things are going great, we forget about God. You know, in, in verse 11, he says, And houses full of good things, which thou fillest not, and wells dig, which thou diggest not, vineyards and olive trees, which thou plantest not, when thou shalt have eaten and be full. Then beware lest thou forget the Lord which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God and serve him and shalt swear by his name. Let us remain humble and let us go back to the word of God as much as we possibly can. You know, this was a little bit of a block for Satan. If this would have gone through in this nation, it would have opened the floodgates for transhumanism in a huge way. Okay, it would have opened the floodgates for many other crazy mandates in a huge way. But don't mistake it. Those things are coming. So now that you have a chance to be able to work, don't be lazy, go to work. <laughs> now that you have a chance to store a little bit, don't be 
do use wisdom. But most importantly, now that you have a chance to help other brothers and sisters in the world, spread the gospel. Go back to the basics. If you're lukewarm, get hot again with Jesus Christ, okay? Get back on fire with God, all right? If you've fallen astray for false teachings, for false revelations, and you know who you are, I'm not going to mention you because if I mention you, you'll flag the video and say that it's a privacy concern, so I'm not going to do so. But would the Supreme Court strike down a mandate of the mark of the beast? But would the Supreme Court strike down a mandate of the mark of the beast? It wouldn't. The countdown is continuing towards that being such a huge false teaching. Repent while you have a chance. Repent while you have a chance. God is powerful, family. God is awesome. If you don't feel joy over this, um, maybe it's because it wasn't impacting you. And if you're feeling joy over this, remember that, hey, you know, glory to God, you know, this is awesome. But remember the many brothers and sisters that are going through it around the world, that other nations may see what happened here and reverse course. But the problem here is, is that quite often God comes through with an awesome victory, but the people forget, you know, the people forget. May you and I not forget. And may you and I glorify the Heavenly Father, thanking Him for all that He's done this day. And using this as wisdom to prepare for the many dark days that are to come. And through all the days, whether good, whether bad, never forget the one that gives the blessing. Right? God is awesome. May God bless you. I apologize that I didn't have a video this weekend. Uh, a lot of things happened. Um, I had to take some time. But um, one is coming this upcoming weekend. And uh, what else, man? I'm just just thankful to God, you know? As a person who um, does everything he possibly can to supply for my family. You know? Um, I'm just grateful. Other than that, let's pray, okay? Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for your dear son. Thank you for all that you've done for us and our families. Father, this has been a year of so much trial and turmoil in our lives. We have felt the pressures from the left. We have felt the pressures from the right. False teachings have arisen. False visions, false miracles, false words of people that claim to speak on behalf of you have arisen. That slowly but surely are being proven false. Yet the eyes of many are still blinded. Father, we pray for the brethren that are living in Canada that are going through it. We pray for the brethren that are in Australia and many other countries that are going through it. Father, may we pass this test. Worldwide, may believers get prepared and be grateful because through this fire, through these tests, all it's doing is preparing us. This is a trial run for what is coming. And for those in America who have overcome the test and are celebrating because, hey, got blocked. May we not forget those that are still going through it. And that we may not forget you, God, for coming through. If you're going through temptations today, if, if you've gone through a moment this week where you've lusted, where you've, uh, you've watched pornography, right? You, you've back talked to so many people you've gotten really sassy you're, you've gotten an attitude you're not behaving the way god called you to behave you're not seeking the word of god you're not seeking god like you used to today is a great day for you to get on your knees and thank god for another day of life quite often we we live our lives and we already assume that tomorrow we're going to wake up we take everything for granted may we go back to fearing god May we go back to living by his statutes and commandments. And may we go back to the biblical truths of the scripture. For Jesus Christ cares for you today. Amen. God is good, family. Um, I love you guys a lot. Um, soon I have a documentary that I'm making on the economy of the Antichrist. It's, a, it's something that I've been working on. And um, other, other documentaries as well. Thanks for your support. Thanks for um, the prayers. Also, I have good news. Um, thanks to Alex, he was able to figure it out. I don't know how, um, but the Roku channel is back up. So if you have a Roku system, go to Bible TV, search Bible TV. It's 100% free. 
You can watch the videos there. Uh, when you watch them on that Roku system, they're uncensored. So anything that I post there, it's not going to be um, going through what it went through before. We went through a couple of months where Vimeo suspended us and thus took that down. But we, we found another provider and we're working through it. And he was able to work countless hours to set it up. Thank you, Alex. Uh, I appreciate it, man. If you have a Roku, check it out. Bible TV. Can you hear my dog? I don't know if you can hear him. Yeah, papito, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my dog. <laughs> yeah. He wants me to go. He wants me to go play with him. And when I record, I put him in another room. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go. Love you guys. God bless you guys.